The plot thickens in the Marion Monsef scandal. The star Liberal cabinet minister and MP has revealed that key details of her life story are false. She's older than she originally said she was, and she was born in Iran, not Afghanistan, as she originally said she believed. Monsef is now in quite the predicament. If her current story is true, that her mother lied to her and that her passport contains false information, well, there could be serious legal consequences for that. If her mother lied on her application, that is citizenship fraud. As I pointed out in my column in the Toronto Sun, the Trudeau government recently stripped citizenship from an Egyptian national who came to Canada at age eight. In that case, the woman's parents lied on her application and therefore, as per Canadian law, she risks being deported. On the other hand, if Monsef is not telling the truth and she actually knew that she was born in Iran and knowingly misled the public, well, the penalty for that could be even more severe. Misrepresenting yourself in legal documents is a serious crime in Canada, and it could be considered fraud or even forgery. Now, I'm not saying Monsef has committed a crime. I am saying that some questions need to be raised and need to be answered. But it looks like the Trudeau government doesn't want to answer any of these questions about Mary Monsef. Instead, the Trudeau government may have found another alternative for dealing with this controversy. You will not believe what Immigration Minister John McCallum said to the Senate this week. You, you say you welcome this. You understand due process, that people should have the right to appeal, have the right to a hearing, all of these things. And yet you won't stop your department from going under this old system, this, this system that came from the previous government, which denies them all of those opportunities. I don't, I don't understand. There's a disconnect there. Why don't you put a moratorium on that process, which you agree is wrong? I will consider that moratorium. I, I won't rule it out unconditionally. What I am saying is that we would welcome a reform to the system. Under pressure from Liberals in the Senate, McCallum suggested that his government would consider placing a moratorium on the practice of citizenship revocation. He admitted that he's willing to change Canada's long-standing immigration and citizenship laws in a way that just happened to protect Marion Monsef. How convenient. They would simply stop stripping people of their citizenship, even known criminals and fraudsters, just as we're raising serious questions about the case of Marion Monsef. Just think about that for a second. Canada would halt the law that strips citizenship for those who lie and cheat to get into our country. Just what kind of message does that send to the rest of the world or to anyone currently applying to come to Canada? Don't worry about our laws. You can just break them and there's no penalty. You can fabricate your story, hide the truth and mislead immigration officials without any consequences or penalty. Well, what is the point of having immigration laws at all? The Trudeau government is making a mockery of our citizenship and immigration laws. And they're doing it all to protect a liberal insider. I'm Candace Malcolm with the rebel.media. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I want to know what you think. So please leave a comment in the comment section below or click one of these links for more rebel content.